Hey everyone, welcome to Digital Charcuterie. My name is James. I'm joined with Andrew Fantasia, and I'm throwing this topic on him. He has no idea what we're about to talk about, but I'm going to make him talk about it. Two of my favorite video games of all time is Super Mario Brothers and Sonic the Hedgehog. Big fan. I've got my mini SNES behind me, my mini, my and my mini Genesis, and my mini any. I have all whatever. They're mini. I play them. I play Sonic. I play Super Mario. All the time. I also have them all on the Switch as well. Do you eat mini eggs while you're playing them? Oh, do I? I actually I yeah. wish I, could. I have some over there. It's easy, whatever. I Look, watched. here's the thing. We have so Sonic the Hedgehog movie came out. It did very well. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 movie came out. It did even better. It's the it was the biggest opening for a uh, video game movie of all time. Jim Carrey's biggest opening weekend of all time. Holy shit, I didn't yes. know. That. It, wow. Yes, yes. So Sonic 2, there is look, and Sonic the Hedgehog, they're finally getting toys in stores for Sonic the Hedgehog. Kids for the last five years have been obsessing over this character. He's done super well in animation. Because mm -hmm. my, my nieces and nephew are, are they love playing Super Mario Brothers, but Sonic is the one that's at the forefront of their minds because he's all the co the, the cartoons and whatnot. They yeah. do it. I don't think they really play much Sonic games, but they love Sonic, they know Sonic. My cousin's uh, son, he's four. He's obsessed with Sonic. Doesn't video games don't matter? It's what's on TV. It's the movie. It's all of that. Now, Andrew, in December, we're getting the Super Mario Brother movie. It's a sequel, I think, to the original one in the '90s, which is one of my favorite movies ever made. Bam, Mario Brothers. No, this is by Illumination, the people that made Minions. So this is okay. Here's what's exciting about it: is I don't really, I haven't, I've never seen a Minion movie, not a Despicable Me Same. movie or a Minion. Same. Never. So we're both old. Um, I do have a Minion t-shirt, though. We'll we'll get into that. Oh, time. you're a sellout. Is what you're a big, big time sellout. My parents got it for me in Dominican Republic. They really like Minions, and I, I, I always breaks my heart to tell them that I've never seen a Minion. Thing. They got but the any, shirt in Dominican Republic. Okay, anyway. <laughs> but, so anyway, so they have that going for them. I'm sure there'll be a Minion tie-in, whatever. My question for you that I'm going to pose to you is which movie will end up being bigger? I don't necessarily mean opening weekend because I don't know if Mario Brothers can can tackle what Sonic did opening weekend. And also it's a sequel, so it's not quite fair. So if we're going to compare apples to apples, it's going to be maybe Mario 1 and, and Sonic 1. But I want to talk overall box office, domestic. We could do domestic instead of worldwide, or we could do worldwide, whatever you prefer. But I just want to know what you think will be the bigger movie uh, come the end of their theatrical run. So I don't mean, you know, at the end of the year, it's got it because Mario Brothers comes out in December. So whenever they decide to take it out of the theater, which movie, Sonic 2 or Mario Brothers, will have the biggest box office? Sonic 2 or Sonic 1? Which one are we comparing? We're going to do Sonic 2. Sonic 2. Um, we, you could also, you know, squeeze, because they both came out this year. That's why the comparison. Right. But we can also talk about a little bit about what you think Sonic 1 or Mario Brothers as well. Because the one thing for me, and I'm going to just to like kind of like, you know, use this towards you is one thing with Sonic though, is it, that I think it has going for it more than Mario brothers does. And it doesn't really mean anything financially, but it does mean something I think in, in people's minds is that one's live action and one is, one is animation. Yes. And I think that plays a factor. And I know animation, animated films make a ton of money. I'm not saying that, but it plays a factor. It does. Um, I love this question. I think it's going to be close, but I think I'm going to give the edge to our Italian brother, the plumber. Wow. Um, and here's why, just for just going through a checklist of what's going on. First of all, like you said, animation. Animation is always going to do well. Every Ice Age movie has cracked the top 10 of every year it's come out. I don't know a single person who's like, Ice Age is a great movie. So I like Ice Age. <laughs> so that's a factor to bear in mind. Another thing is Sonic 1 made a bunch of money. It did extremely well for itself, but kids and even a lot of adults were not really talking about Sonic. Sonic wasn't in the zeitgeist because his games aren't popular anymore. Yeah. Whereas Mario games never stopped being popular. So Sonic 1 had to get over that hurdle of, here's this character that nobody really cares about anymore, but we're making a movie of him anyway. Mario doesn't have that hurdle. Mario you has know, characters see, I, we all know and love, and we're making I, I disagree, though, because of all the cartoons that Sonic had. Sonic had a big following. Kids were obsessing over Sonic. Mm -hmm. I can't get over the lack of merchandise for Sonic. There's finally a oh, little wow. bit in stores, but I can't. Uh, by the way, I was at Walmart the other day, and there was a shit ton of Mario Brothers stuff everywhere, some Animal Crossing stuff as well. 
couple Sonic stuff. Not enough. I don't understand where it is. You could probably make Dreamcast 2, Sega, if you just would put out a damn plushie of Sonic. Um, and I think the last thing, the three, yeah, the third thing is it's uh, it's a timing situation. Sonic 1 was a February movie. Sonic 2 is an April movie. And there's not a whole lot of competition. That's kind of a barren area. Mario is a, a Christmas movie, essentially, uh, where you kind of expect them to make, you know, even though it will have more competition, the Christmas movies usually end up making a lot more money. Um, but it you, has... A so Go ahead. I mean, it has it has intriguing competition in Shazam too, yes. which could have which could go for the same audience. Yes, it could go for the same audience. I think yeah, Shazam does have a very similar audience, um, but I think Mario will cover a wider swath of territory because uh, there are I think kids who might parents might deem them too young for Shazam, but they might be like yeah, but for Mario it's cool. Mm -hmm. And then last but not least is. Mario just has a little bit of an edge in terms of star power. I mean, we all love James Marsden and maybe some kids know who Ben Schwartz is and then and, and Jim Carrey, obviously. But I mean, Mario is coming with Chris Pratt, who's in everything in the world. Anya Taylor-Joy, who is slowly but surely gonna be in everything in the world. Jack Black, who's in half of everything in the world. Uh, who else? Keegan-Michael Key. Like it, it, it has a lot more names under its belt. Uh, so I think that's why I think it's not going to be a huge margin, but I think Mario has enough going for it that it's going to edge out the Sonic. I love the casting of Jack Black as Bowser. Yes, that's perfect. I, I, love, I love, that I love that. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, I don't know where Sonic Two is going to end. I haven't had a chance to see Sonic Two yet. You have, but people seem to be like, I've heard a few negative people like, eh. But most people seem to be on board with it. It's got a lot of the, the stuff, a lot of uh, little Easter eggs in it and whatnot from the games I've heard. People seem very, very happy with that movie. I think if Mario Brothers is a good, if Mario Brothers is a good movie, I, I do think it will top. I don't think it'll top it opening weekend, but I think it could in a long term top it, top it if it is a good movie. I think it's gonna be very tough. I think it will do better than Sonic One though. Uh, Sonic Two is gonna be tricky, but again. It, the, it's like that's an apple and an orange almost, but because it came out this year, though, that's why I want to pose this question. And I think, I think Super Mario uh, will will triumph over Sonic Two slightly, unless the movie's terrible, then it won't. But I, if it's good, I think it will. Um, <laughs> that's just you know how it is. And and, and I'm look, I, I am looking forward to seeing Sonic Two, and I'm really looking forward to seeing the Mario Brother movie because. As much as I love the old 90s one, that's not really a Mario Brother movie. That is a weird, trippy sci-fi movie. Uh, that You know, whatever. Movies in that time were something else. I love Double Dragon as well. Fight me. I don't care. My Double Dragon more, movie is very fun. It's very, it's, it's, it's more entertaining than I like to think it is because it doesn't seem like it should be. But I also really like uh, Mortal Kombat Annihilation is the best of the three. All right. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Which movie is going to do better? Will it be Mario or will it be Sonic 2? Both of them come out this year. We're going to have to find out and wait and see. Hopefully we get a Mario Brothers sequel movie in the work. They should just make this a trilogy, Mario 1, 2, 3, and make them all based on the old games. Um, we don't even know what it's about. Maybe I don't even know when we're going to get a trailer for Mario Brothers. Maybe that will also be in front of Doctor Strange 2. We're going to find out. Let us know in the comments below. And until then, buy Andrew's book. Yeah, seriously, buy my book, especially if you're a game fan. Because look at this. It's called Side Scroller. It looks like an Atari cartridge. It is full of gaming Easter eggs. It's not about video games, but it's about a world that runs on the logic of video games. So if you're watching this kind of video, you're probably going to dig it. You can buy it on Amazon right now, and you can get an ebook if you don't like how big and daunting this looks. James has read it, and he gave it a B-. minus. Until next time, everyone. <laughs> Give us a like. No, honestly, it's a great book. You should probably pick it up, especially if you do like games. All right, everyone, uh, give us a like and a subscribe. And, and don't forget to hit that bell and all that fun stuff. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe. Something Sonic says.